This is the freeform slab we're going to be using for the bar top. You see it's very active grain. It's got a lot of swirls and curls in it. Uh, it's got some bark inclusions. We'll be filling those with epoxy and ancient cowrie bark. The dotted line you see on there, the dashed line, is the 24 inch line. The solid line you saw on the left is the, is the back of the bar where the bartender would be. And the wavy line is where we're proposing to do the freeform edge. And I've taken some of the natural defects in the wood. There's a, there's a curl right there, a heavy curl. And so we're kind of grabbing that grain as we swing by that curl. We come up to another sharp corner in the grain. And we're going to cut it off there. We'll probably bring some undercuts in underneath here. And we carry on with our with our natural edge coming across by picking up different areas of the grain that that allow us to uh, to grab it naturally. So here's that's the 24 inches from the back of the uh, from the back of the bar. So the overall depth is anywhere from 24 to 26, 27 inches. So that'll be our cut line. Again, we'll undercut some of this and. Uh, so we've got some fall away. And then um, here's another view of the end of that cut. So the excess material, which is up at the top of the screen, right where I walked past, that excess material, there's a cardboard cutout of it, roughly, what the shape's going to be. What we do is kind of roll this around over on the other edge. So what, so the offcut then gets, uh, gets glued on to the rest of the material and extends the length of the bar. So um, as when that cardboard gets settled, you'll see the natural edge. So there I've flipped it over, and the natural edge continues to kind of wave on down the line. So this is how we're extending this piece from, from about 7 feet long to 9 feet. Sorry, 6.5 feet to 9 feet. So if I put this on, the way it's situated there, I'm going to be cutting off a few bits and pieces. The small pieces I cut off will roll over into the into the holes that aren't covered right now. And so this is the way we just kind of work our way down the bar like this until we've got our full uh, our full nine foot length. Now, here in the foreground, you can see the straight line. That would be where that's on the bartender side and the grain's relatively clear compared to the rest of the slab in that area. So here I'm marking a couple little chunks that are going to get cut off, and those can swing around and go up into the holes that, uh, that are created when I put on this bigger piece. So we really wind up using all of the big slab by the time we're done. See, this, that empty hole will take one of those little chunks and put it in there, maybe two. Maybe we'll shape it a little differently, and then... Uh, so there's the cut line, there's the natural edge continuing on down the bar. And again, the very easy, we'll, we'll do some undercutting for some fall away. And as we, putting a tape measure across here to sort of illustrate the added length to the bar once that's added in, I think right now we're getting up to uh, just about eight feet long there. So we'll add in a couple more pieces. And uh, we need to add some on the other side as well. And you can see where the bartender is. We need to add a little bit of material in there. So we're going to take this material here that's in the foreground. It has some nice curl in it. Got matching color. And we're going to cut off something uh, in this area. And we'll get it to fit uh, right, right there. Clunk. So this is, this is the method we use to to uh, to make these composite tops. Now, this is another piece I'm bringing in from another chunk altogether. All I did was grab it, bring it over, and fit it. So you can see it's not difficult to find cool pieces that have the right color, right shape to them. Look at the natural edge really flows well on this particular one. Um, and here again with the tape measure, we get out to nine or to eight feet pretty fast. So we'll be adding another piece on. Here's the end that we have you haven't seen in the video where we're going to add some material and if we take a freeform chunk like this out of the inventory pile you can see we can get some interesting opportunity there to use the fall away in this piece to help us uh, integrate it 
and the straight edge is right where my hand is right now would be over the bartender side um, the grain in this is uh, very similar both pieces and the the natural edge kind of would match up with uh, with some of this material if that's what we decide to use so you know the purpose for picking this up and showing it to you here's this is to illustrate the fall away I've been discussing fall away fall away is that the shape from the surface some of it's undercut some of it goes the other direction and we really use this to our advantage uh, when doing these composite slabs so here on this one where we've added you know that's like 20 extra inches pretty fast right there uh, for